Hey buddy, are you struggling to get more appointments booked into your calendar so that you can sell more premium price products and services and courses and consultancy? Well, in this episode, we are gonna look at seven different strategies that you can use right now to get more appointments booked into your calendar so that you can go and make those premium price sales today. First off, if you're new here, every single week I drop two videos looking at ads, socials, emails that generate a ton of leads and sales and we do not hold back. As you can see, seven separate ways to solve one problem. We go deep dive and share so much stuff on this channel. So if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and if you're a great human, go and hit that like button right now on this video as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it makes me happier to make even more of these videos. And yes, it might look like I'm in the weirdest bedroom in the world right now with the worst wallpaper in the world, but I'm actually on week three of being in this hotel room after flying New York to London for final visa interviews. Uh, and I'm just awaiting my passport to come back, which is on somebody else's time scale. So who knows how long I'm going to be here. There might be a few episodes with this awful background, but let's get into the video and share some absolute golden nuggets that you can use to generate more leads and sales into your business. Number one is change the offer or the method that people come through when they're booking a call with you. Let's look at that first one there, even though I'm sort of coupling two things together, they're very, very closely related. So the first thing of changing the offer, so many people out there are just encouraging people to book calls with them that are clearly positioned as sales calls. Now there is upside to this if you are getting any of those calls booked because I would rather personally, if I was a busy coach or an expert, consultant, course creator, whatever it may be, I'd rather less calls in the diary. But as long as there was calls there, if people knew that they were turning up for a sales call, if they had a high intention of purchasing on the other end, that's actually a good thing. But if you're struggling to get people over the line into calls and giving yourself the opportunity to sell, then you're gonna have to reposition it as something that is gonna be highly valuable to the person who's booking the call so that you can get into those conversations. Now, I don't think that you should tease something and then just turn it into a sales call. I think that you should actually deliver on the value that you say you're gonna to bring to them. And do you know what? It only amplifies how much action somebody wants to take with you on that day. So if you can actually provide a ton of value in a sort of 15, 20 minute space and then have 10 minutes at the end, if it's a good fit to talk about your product or service, then pitch whatever that 20 minutes is. Don't pitch the sales call part at the end. Pitch whatever that valuable 20 minutes is gonna be. It could be a strategy building session. It could be, for me, I do a lead generation audit and strategy session where we actually look at everybody's social media, their Facebook ad strategy, their funnel strategy, how they're getting leads and sales into their business, and we simplify it for them. And then we say, you know, if you want to work closely with us, this is how you can do it. If not, well, you're walking away with a great plan. Lots of uh, goodwill formed in that call anyway. And tons of people who don't convert on calls will come back over time uh, because of the value we built with them and the connection we built with them on that call will just randomly hit us up on a Sunday night and say, I'm ready to join the course, a premium price course, and it's been nothing more than a text message or uh, Instagram DM. So. If you are at the moment not getting those calls in, you probably have to just reposition it so it actually looks like something valuable, something that somebody is actually gonna want to go for instead of it just looking like a sales call. The second part of it there was about the method and you know, you might have something that is well positioned, you know, it might actually seem quite valuable, but hey, you might just be sending people directly to a page so that they can book a call with you, but they might not have much context for you. If that's the case, then no wonder people don't want to book the calls. And if they're booking calls and not turning up, it's no wonder of that either. You know, we actually have to put them through a process of building up a bit of know, like, and trust before they're actually going to, one, want to book a call, and two, going to turn up to the call, and three, want to buy something on that call as well. So if you are just sending somebody to a page in which it's an opportunity to book a call, maybe you're even sending them directly to your calendar. You know, if you're having issues right now, first of all, getting people over the line, and second of all, getting people to turn up, it's probably because they've got no context for you. You have to put them through some sort of process. That's why lead magnet funnels work so well. You know, we give somebody something for free, 
but it's an immersive-ish experience, you know, like a webinar or something, and then at the end of it, there's a pitch to book a call. Now they know your system, they know your framework, they've got social proof and all those things fresh in their mind, they're more likely to book the call and they're more likely to turn up. Furthermore, we can look at things like challenges, which is instead of just being a 45 minute immersive experience, it can be a five day, seven day, 14 day, 21 day, whatever you want. And you can work with people for a, a great deal of time and then you can pitch something, either a product or service, or of course a boot call at the end as well. And those people have so much more context for you that not only will more people want to book, but they'll also want to show up with the intention of making a purchase. Number two, more frequent call to actions. This can go out throughout your, your social media, your email marketing, whatever you're doing in which, you know, you don't need a big audience. We've got somebody inside the private coaching at the moment, uh, Graham. So he, three months ago, had 300 people uh, following him on Instagram, well, just under 300 people. We're now at 500 or 550 or something along the lines of that. But when he joined uh, with the private coaching where there's some one-to-one -one calls and stuff as well uh, to build out that strategy, he was only uh, generating uh, some, somewhere uh, south of 1,000 per month. Now we're at the stage with him where three months down the line or three and a half months down the line, he just had a 16.9K month and he's uh, only using a slither of ads, and I mean probably about £100 a month of ads. He's using social media, and it's because he uses call to actions, not like sales, 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 sales. He's providing value up front and giving people call to actions at the end. And for so many people that come to me, I just don't have a big social media following or this, that, the other. Most of the time, it's because they're putting so much effort into their social media, but they're so scared of selling because they've been told, value, 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 and then you do like one pitch once every two weeks or something like that. You can pitch every single day of the week. You can pitch every single day of the week on social media, you can pitch every single day of the week in an email, as long as you lead with value. As long as it's not a sales email every single day of the week, as long as it's not a sales post every single day of the week, if it's value upfront, truly valuable, and there's a logical call to action, such as booking a call with you, you can pitch that every single day, and guess what? You'll get more calls booked. Number three, and this is for people who are actually using adverts. So many times I see people who are actually quite successful with getting booked calls through social media and email marketing and things like that, but on such a small scale, so they want to use ads. And when I look at the ads and why they're not converting, it's usually because they're not testing broad enough. They're usually doing a one, one, one method, and that is one campaign, one audience, and one advert, which is what you get at the end of creating a Facebook ad. But if you just use the duplicate button a few times on your audiences or ad sets, or you use the duplicate button on your adverts, what you can do very quickly is give Facebook so much more to work with. So instead of having to hope that the audience that you chose was right, you can give Facebook five audiences to choose from to figure out which one's gonna convert best. Second to that, every single one of those audiences can instead of seeing one advert, can see five or more variations. And by doing this, one, one, one method, you give Facebook one chance to get it right, and by doing a one, five, five method, you give them 25, uh, 25 chances to get it right. So if you're not testing broadly, this is probably a big reason why your Facebook ads aren't converting into book calls. Test broadly, and you'll have much better success. If you're on YouTube, I would love to know down below in the comments where you're trying to get book calls right now. Is it solely organic, are you using adverts or is it a mix of the two? I would love to know specifically where you're focusing your energy right now to get booked calls so I can get a bit of a sense of where you are, the people who are watching this video for upcoming videos and things like that. And of course, if you've got any questions, anything that I can help with, I'll deep dive with you in the comments as well. So feel free to ask a question specific to you, your business, your marketing, and I'll come straight back to you. Okay, number four is focus on conversations. Actually give yourself a target of conversations to start every single day. The more conversations you get into, the more likely you are to book calls. And this is a really, really big one. And by the way, I've got a video on this YouTube channel 
uh, and also in the podcast if you're listening on, on Apple uh, Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, which is seven ways to generate leads and sales from Instagram. And we've got a ton of deep dive things in there to get conversations started. But as a couple of examples, we've got things like the Instagram poll method. So really, really simple. You put out a poll on your Instagram stories. It says something along the lines of, if you're a personal trainer, what do you struggle more with, building muscle or losing weight? Now the thing is, people don't know that you're gonna be able to see who voted on things, they're certainly not expecting you to send them a message, but they will vote, 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 vote. People who hang on your every word, but never comment, never like your post, they'll engage with your polls. And so will the super fans who do engage, but I'm saying this goes wider. And that gives you an amazing opportunity to then follow up very authentically. So you could follow up with both sets there if you're a personal trainer, and you could say something on the lines of, thank you so much for engaging with my Instagram poll. It gives me so much context for the type of content that I should be creating for the channel so that I can help you further. I did notice that you said that you were struggling to lose weight. Can I ask why you think that is? Open-ended question, conversation starter. And a couple of uh, back and forth down the line, that can very quickly become uh, something along the lines of, uh, I could speak about this all day, um, I've got about 15 different ways that you can make this happen, they're all really simple, but instead of me typing this all out and us going back and forth for the next two hours, do you have 10, 15 minutes tomorrow and I can book you in and we can just actually have a casual chat about how you can make this work for you. That is a great way to get people booked into calls. And here is an absolute killer. Book them in manually. You'll get way more people over the line. Most people then tell them to go to the link in their bio or they'll post their calendar link and everybody will go, yeah, great, I'll get to this tomorrow. I'm really busy at the moment. It's like one click. The easy thing is to say, are you available tomorrow at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m.? Get one of them and then get their email address and book them in manually. Number five, get more proof and share more proof. You know, it doesn't matter how much educational stuff we put out there, if we are not putting out proof of the, the results that we can actually get for people or whatever that may be, then we are not going to be getting book calls, okay? No matter how much great stuff we put out, we need to have elements of proof in there. It's up to your own discretion if you want to put this out all the time or if you want to put this out some of the time, but without it completely, you're gonna be in a really tough position. The more proof that you put out there, typically the more book calls that you're gonna get in. But here's the kicker, it's not just more book calls, it's a higher quality book call. It's a higher quality book call who intends to take some level of action with you because they want to replicate the results that they're seeing that you're sharing from other clients. So if you're not already, focus on going out there and getting more proof and in more variations, screenshots of conversations with clients, asking clients who've just had a big win immediately to send over a video. Use an app like Video Ask to make it even easier for them. Doing that means you've got an abundance of proof that you can share that's fresh and it will get way more people into book calls. Number six, follow-ups. Follow up and make it personal. You know, one of the easiest ways for you to generate book calls is to go through your Instagram DMs that you've been working hard on. And by the way, if you're using any of the strategies that we've already looked at today, you're gonna have so many more conversations started that this follow-up strategy is gonna be even better in the months to come. But you can follow up with people who you've had previous conversations with in the DMs and you can go months back and just send them all a really personal voice note, something along the lines of, I've just been uh, going through my Instagram DMs tonight, just casually sending some messages to people who I've had previous conversations with, just to see how you're getting on. I just wanna see how you're getting on, if there's anything that I can help with. That type of open-ended question uh, is gonna create conversations with the people who want to engage in conversations. And what I mean by that is, they know what you do. You've had conversations with them before. And people who are even slightly interested, they're the ones that get back. And they're the ones who are almost going to let you work your magic and get them onto a book call because they know they want to work with you. They know they want the result that you provide, but you know, they're just not really an action taker or haven't taken an action or, you know, it's different for them to invest at that level or whatever, but they want to be in the conversation because they want to feel like they're moving closer to it anyway. So it's a great thing to just do this every couple of months to go through genuinely like six months of 
uh, DMs and just send them all a voice note and have it really open-ended, make it very personal, get into those conversations and then book them in manually into book calls. And number seven is a bit of a bonus really because this is a bit left field. This is all about how to get book calls. Well, number seven is something I'm finding is working so well across the 16 week digital marketing program and with the private coaching clients. You're probably seeing me posting just about every single day with a new story of this system at the moment on my Instagram. Just like I said, use a lot of proof on your social media and you get a lot of book calls, which is why we've got a lot of book calls and we've got three new members into the 16 week digital marketing program uh, so far today. However, uh, this system is quite simply immersive experiences. So things like free and paid challenges and sometimes even uh, just in-person live webinars, if you will. They're not in-person, but you know what I mean. Live, live webinars instead of pre-recorded webinars. But mainly what we're looking at here is either free or paid challenges. Now these things are just absolutely incredible. If done correctly, and we have absolutely mastered the repeatable system. Everybody in our systems are using the same funnel. They're using the same emails to get people in. They're using the same emails to keep people engaged. They're using the same emails to pitch people at the very end. They're using the same system for uh, running their challenges. They're pitching on the same day. They're doing follow-ups in the same way. And they're just absolutely incredible. But here's the kicker. This is why I wanted to bring this up right here. These have actually replaced sales calls for a ton of people inside our programs who came in to find ways to generate more book calls. Now they were getting book calls and it was great, but I realized that there was a, a real opportunity here with challenges, uh, with everything going on at the moment, people behind closed doors, to get way more people into these challenges. And the key thing is as well, with everybody being behind closed doors, not only are you getting more people into them, more people stay engaged in them as well, okay? But here's the key thing. A ton of people who sell premium price products, I'm talking anything from like 500 up to the multi-thousands, are using this system inside the programs right now, proof you can go and see their results, and they're actually managing to pitch these high ticket programs at the end of these immersive experiences and they don't even have to pitch a sales call. They pitch it so well in the perfect scenario, we do it with two products at once. If you only have one product, which is actually good for high ticket, it's about having you know a double extension or something like a bolt on, like an elite version, something like that, so that it adheres to two price points and two different demographics of people. And we're finding that people will go immediately through with the right use of urgency and scarcity they will go immediately through and buy high ticket programs. And this is something that everybody should be thinking about right now because, you know, I don't know if this is gonna be as good a system in three years down the line. I hope it is uh, because it's been absolutely incredible, but it's definitely something to think about using right now at the moment. Uh, in fact, actually, I will put down below, I've got a case study of somebody uh, who actually used the system. They're using it every single month um, but in December they used it for I think the second or third time selling high ticket fitness coaching, online fitness coaching where people are going to get trained uh, at home, online uh, in a sort of one-to-one -one format, okay? No like one-to-one -one videos but it's online high ticket coaching, right? In December, two days before Christmas they sold 16 high ticket one-to-one -one clients into online home coaching absolutely incredible just by doing this no sales calls whatsoever i'll drop it down below the case study of jen and emma they did absolutely insane and now it's just become a big repeatable process for them and here's the cool thing as well it was a pay it was a paid uh, a paid challenge and uh they started the challenge so they used some ads they used socials they used emails and stuff uh, all of our systems at once and they got, I think, maybe like 120 people into, into the challenge. But it was a paid challenge with a very amazing funnel structure that we put together. So we've got the funnel to get people in. Um, so we've got the sales page, the checkout page, the order bump, the upsell. 
they actually were £4,000 in profit before the challenge even started. So many people start challenges down in a major debt and they have to sell to try and break even or, or make profit. They were four grand in profit and then went on to sell 16 high ticket spaces at the very end of the challenge as well. So that's something definitely to be thinking about here. Um, it doesn't have to replace your book call systems or anything we went through here, but it should be something that you're considering to tack on. And especially because there's a big thing called offer fatigue. And if you're pitching the same thing and 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 the same thing, the same thing then it has a fatigue level to it, people see it all the time, it loses its potency. But if you pitch book calls maybe for uh, for two weeks or three weeks even, and then that sort of one to two week period uh, on top of that of the month, you're pitching an immersive experience like this challenge, it changes the dynamic, it keeps people engaged and it gives them something else to aim at. Okay, so this could be an amazing thing uh, for you as well. So check out that case study down below and uh, We've also got a whole bunch of other things for you as well. We've got our advanced ads made easy. If you're interested in uh, step three here where we were talking about uh, creating a 255 method, we've actually broken it down completely in another completely free training for you. We're all about value up front here. Um, I'm gonna drop the case study and advanced ads made easy down below for you right now. And the final thing is if you want to actually just work with us, use our systems, use all of our templates. Like I said, we've got the funnels built, we've got the emails pre-written, we've got the ad copy pre-written, we've got the step-by-step uh, -step ad training, we've got the social media training, the email marketing training. We've got it all sorted for you to generate more book calls or set up these immersive experiences. And all you have to do is go on to a value-driven call and spend 15 minutes with us talking to us about your business. We're gonna give you some amazing pointers and really zero focus into what you should be focusing in on. And at the end of it, if it feels like a good fit for us and you, then you can ask any questions about how we can work together. So if you want that, I'll drop that down as a third benefit to you and uh, I will see you on the next video. In fact, if you haven't done it already, you're also gonna to want to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these episodes ever again. Thanks so much for staying tuned and I will see you on the next video.